All right, Shalom. Let's we'll start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rahakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, the GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect. This is the brother Atazari from GMS Houston. And um, I want to do a lamb back off of uh, something that Elder Apostle Tahad mentioned in his video, one of his last uh, lessons that he had put up. Uh, it was the second to last, the one. Uh, should we pack up and flee up out of America now? Okay, seeing the chip is coming. Okay, this place is going down. Well, he also said in that same lesson, where are you going to go? Okay, where can you go? There's going to be worldwide destruction. This microchip, which is the mark of the beast, is going to be fully implemented all over the world. Where are you going to go? And to top it all off, there's no escaping what's, what's to come, man, okay? There's nowhere to go and hide, okay? The only hiding place is this secret place, okay? Running into Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, okay? As a matter of fact, okay, let's get some scriptures, okay? I'm going to start off with this. Pull this up. All right. This is 2 Timothy 1 and 7. It says, For the heavenly Father hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Okay? A sound mind, man. Okay? Because what? Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Where will that be stored? Where will, you, where will your wisdom and knowledge be? And where will you get it from? Okay. Where will you get it from? Okay. Because this is what's going to be in your mind and your spirit, in your heart. Okay. This is going to be the stability of thy times. Okay. And strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Okay. Now, speaking of fear. OK. The only fear that we should have is towards Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. OK. Let's get another scripture. Yep, Psalms 91 and 4. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Okay. Um, matter of fact, let's put this in. Just buckler. This is another scripture I want to get. Yep. Psalms 18 and 2. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is my rock and my fortress. Okay. And my deliverer, my power, my strength in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn, okay, or the power of my salvation and my high tower, okay? Psalms 18 and 30, as for the heavenly father, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler, okay? Let's get that word buckler. Do this. B, you always do that. Why is beyond me? Let's see if it's the same word. Yep. It's a uh, shield. Figuratively, a protector, okay? He's our protector, and he's going to protect those that have fear in him because we get that uh, stability, the wisdom and knowledge, which shall be the stability from the fear of the Lord, okay? As a matter of fact, let's do this. Let's go back here. Let's do this. 
come on now. Okay, let's see. Um, let's see where it's at. Huh, let's see what this say. 34. Let's jump back a little bit. Yep, um. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, I'm going to start up at 1. This is Psalms 34 and 1. It says, a Psalm of David when he changed his behavior before Abimelech, who drove him away, and he departed. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth, okay? And that's what we have to do, okay? Continually fight and strive in this thing, man, and praise the Heavenly Father, okay? And continually have the fear of the Lord, okay? Because that is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge, all right? Verse 2, it says, my soul shall make her boast, in the Lord, the humble shall hear thereof and be glad, okay? Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Yahweh Yahweh I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. You see that? He's going to be the one to deliver us through all of this calamity that's coming, man, okay? And it all starts with those that fear him. Okay. Verse five, it says they looked unto him and were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. OK. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. OK. Is that not what we are in? A bunch of troubles. OK. Plural. And this is the way to get out of those troubles. It's not getting a passport and. Hell, and I've spoken on my situation a few times. I can't even leave, okay? I can't even attain a passport, okay? And a large majority of Jakes can't leave the country. No way, okay? Because if you owe taxes, you can't leave. If you owe child support, you can't leave. If you're coming up for court, you can't leave, Okay, if you're out on bond, you can't leave. And these are just some of the troubles that our people uh, go through on a constant. Okay, uh, verse six, I'll read it again, Psalms 34 and six. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. And the angel of the Lord encamped around about them that fear him. You see? And just to bring up Apostle uh, Gabor's lesson, when he went into the angels reporting back and forth to the Heavenly Father, he mentioned that, okay? When he was going into the book of Tobit and Raphael, okay? One of the archangels, okay? Um, the angels protect us, okay? They take messages back to the Heavenly Father, Okay, and they encamp around us and keep us safe. Okay. It says, verse 8, Psalms 34 and 8, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. You see? So, by you jumping on a plane and taking off, you don't have no trust in the Lord, man. It shows a lack of faith. Okay, and when the Lord returns, he's coming for those that are, are that have faith. Okay, he's not coming back for the faithless or the ones that are scared of something other than him. Okay, because I get it after this in the book of Deuteronomy. All right, let me finish reading this. It says, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, who are the saints, the Israelites. For there is no want to them that fear him. You see that? We ain't got nothing to be scared of, man. The most high got us. 
even if we get put to death, man, the, like the elder Yashua woman said in his lesson, man, the Most High is not going to let this continue. And you got to believe that. We have to believe that, okay? He's not going to leave us, leave us out here to hang, okay? He ain't going to leave us hanging like Jake liked to say, okay? And I, I also want to quote a song from Goody Mob, okay? CeeLo Green said in the song, he said, I know the Lord ain't brought me this far just to drop me off here. Just to leave me in this, then that would show that the Heavenly Father ain't got no mercy when the scriptures clearly say that his mercy is as great as his majesty. All right. Let me read a little more on this and then I'm going to get a scripture. It says, verse 10, the young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. You see that? Come ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Okay. We should have a healthy fear of the Lord. Okay. Let's go to the book of Deuteronomy. I think it's 32, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Yep. And it's 39. It says, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no power with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. You see that? It's talking about the Heavenly Father, man. Everything is in his control. So if we come back to him and fear him, he's going to be that shield and buckler. Okay? Because he's the one that makes everything click. Everything tick. Okay? So there should not be, we're, we're going to win. Ultimately, we're going to win, okay? So there's nothing to be scared of, man, okay? Let me think. It was another scripture I had in my head before I even started this lesson, but as a matter of fact, none of these scriptures was even none I was going to bring out, but that's all right. That's the way the Spirit do. Um, I can't think of what it was, but that's all right. Hey, if it come back to me, it'll come back. But if not, that's okay. I mean, the point has pretty much been made, okay? We we shouldn't be afraid. Esau should be afraid. Now, matter of fact, now I remember it. Now I remember it. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Do this. Second Ezra 6 and 9. For Esau is the end of the world. That's where we at. The end of the world. This is the end of his. He's done. That's why the scripture is telling him to rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. They should have been doing it, man. Especially all these Joe six facts. They should have been living it up, man. Because now look where we at. And it's only going to, it's going to progressively get worse real fast. Okay, so Esau should be scared, man. Okay, Esau eat him. All right, the Caucasoid. Okay, uh, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. You see, so we shouldn't be scared. We about to enter into the kingdom. The kingdom is already being established. This should build our faith. We should be rejoicing. Okay? So we shouldn't be scared. Esau should be scared, man. He's the end of the world. We 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 about to rule in righteousness. Okay? And we're gonna be perfect. The things most, you know, and not all brothers, man. I I can confidently say this in confidence. All brothers hate going off. None of us like going off and breaking the law, statutes, and commandments. So when we are made perfect, I mean, when 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 laws is put into our inward parts, 
we're not going to ever go off no more. And it's going to be a kingdom of righteousness. These are things to look forward to. We shouldn't be scared. No, it ain't time to pack up and, and bounce, man. Because where the hell are you going to go? I mean, that's pretty much it. Okay, Lord Willingness was edifying. All right. Like I say, it was just a, a response or lamb back off of a few videos, as a matter of fact, <laughs> you know. But, um, yeah, man, just fear the Heavenly Father. Nothing else to fear. Okay? And we shouldn't be afraid of, uh, of dying. Once we understand, it's just a transition. We just go back to the Heavenly Father. We just go back to the spirit world, man. And rest. Why you think they call it resting in peace? And then if you have happen to per perish on this side before it all go down, when you wake up, guess what? You're gonna be in the kingdom, man. You okay. Lord willingness was edifying and uplifting. Okay. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Rakal, Kodash, the only one to fear, okay? Double honors to the elder apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, or GMS, peace and blessings, and to the sincere Akim out there, and to the Aquat that may be listening, peace and blessings to you also. It's on to the next one. Until then, I say Shalom.